There are only two reasons that the police services closed the city streets of Orlando. The first is when the President of the USA visits the city, and the second is when a group of very special disabled children, and some with terminal illnesses, take to the skies for their penultimate flight to the heavens. I only discovered this story quite by chance when I encountered a neighbour of mine on the street a few days after the new year. Tony Hall spent his career travelling the world sourcing products. Over 30 years ago, he started buying Christmas decorations, which, having been inspired by the elaborate efforts of people in America to decorate their homes at the festive season, he gradually started using to decorate his own home. Late one night about 30 years ago, one of your predecessors, Mr. Mayor, knocked on Tony's door. Apologising for the late hour, the Mayor of Guildford explained that he often passed Tony's home on the way home from late council meetings and had become intrigued by Tony's increasing efforts. His parting advice to Tony was that perhaps he should raise money for charity. Tony took that advice and continued buying more and more decorations. The Mero Christmas Illuminations have become something of a local institution. Every year, Tony raises money for dream flights. Unfortunately, this year, Surrey County Council closed our road, meaning that donations this year were far lower than they might otherwise have been. People couldn't easily get to Tony's home to enjoy his annual display and help those children experience the joy that they so richly deserve. At a recent council meeting, the current Mayor of Guildford, Mayor Dennis Booth, now reaching the end of the term of his office, put out a call to find a local hero, someone whose efforts at working for our community deserve recognition. I'd like to nominate Tony Hall for delighting generations of children, and in so doing, putting a little light into some very special children's lives. He pays the mounting electricity bills and always has from his own pocket. If you too would like to support this nomination, please would you signify that support in two ways. First, by attaching a heart to this post, be it on Twitter, Facebook or next door, and also by sharing or retweeting this post so that others can do so too. It's an expensive task sending these kids to Orlando. The aircraft have to be specially fitted out with medical equipment, oxygen tanks and staff, but it's the trip of a lifetime for those children. Sadly, the final trip for some. Finally, Mr. Mayor, Tony told me that he thinks that Guildford Borough Council has been hopeless for the last 30 years. Let's see if we can perhaps change that impression, shall we? 